So we're looking at problem three from the winter 2016 midterm one. Uh, we have Jareth who stands at 8, 1 and walks towards negative 1, 4. Uh, and we know this one kind of strange thing about Jareth's motion. Uh, well, we know it's constant speed, which is nice. Uh, but we know that he reaches the point, the point on his path closest to the origin. He reaches that point 8 seconds in. So a lot of people get mixed up a little bit on how to make sense of this detail of the point on his path closest to the origin. Uh, I've seen a lot of students who say, oh, well, this point here must be the one that's closest to the origin because that point has y, uh, x equals zero. Um, but if you think a little more carefully about it, uh, that's not actually the case. Uh, if you were at the origin, and you wanted to get to some point on this line, what path would you take in order to get to somewhere along this line? Well, if you think of this as a wall and you were somewhere in a room, the closest, the fastest path to get to a wall is in such a way that you'll hit the wall at a perpendicular. So in order to find this point here, what we need to do is to make sense of where this perpendicular from the origin will meet this line. So let's write an equation for the path that Jareth travels along. So we're not at this point writing parametric equations, uh, we're just writing an equation in terms of x and y for Jareth's path. This shouldn't be too hard, all we need to do to write an equation for this line is to find the slope and the y-intercept. So, I'm going to erase this little x here, as it's not actually relevant to the question. So, the slope of this line, I can calculate quite easily. I can see that from here to here, we decrease x by 9, while we increase y by 3. So, the rise over run over that stretch uh, is a rise of 3 My picture's wrong. My picture's totally wrong. Mm. Should I start the video over or should I fix it? Let me start the video over.